good evening good evening good evening welcome welcome i want to share with you what i call the country uh we love the country that we love i was born in ghana and um, when i was growing up you know there were songs that they taught us in school they showed us the flag they taught us the national anthem you know they condition us to be proud of our country to be proud of our culture to be proud of our heritage and the wisdom of our of our forebears the wisdom of our of our of the people who came before us they knew that for you to develop a strong people they should have that sense of heritage they should have that sense of identity they should have that sense of um, you know they should be proud of their culture they should be proud of their heritage and um, if you want to destroy any people destroy their culture destroy their heritage destroy their identity and you can get them to follow you everywhere and so i think one of the best things that they did to us was for them to us uh, giving us that kind of identity that pride and everywhere you go around the world if you see a Ghanaian, you see a Ghanaian. there's something special about us and we love our country that in spite of all the disagreement in spite of all the noise that you hear on the radio in spite of all the negativity in spite of all the people <laughs> what people say everywhere that a Ghanaian is we're still proud of our country you know no matter what no matter what worth that we see we still want to come back home and we're still proud of our people it's a good thing it's a good thing because you cannot uh you know it's usually most people don't talk well about their country so if you meet the englishman is you know in spite of if i'm a foreigner in, in, in and i live in england I, I i may see a lot of good things but to the average englishman you know <laughs> they talk bad if you go to another country every citizens of any country talk bad about their country so we can allow that just as we also talk bad about our country but in the bit to talk bad about our country we also so much overlook the things that were very good for us you know uh, the things that we think our country is has done for us or uh, has an advantage of so um I am of a firm belief that you cannot succeed in any country that you don't believe in. So if they, if you train your citizens to be negative, if you train your citizens to believe in another country beyond what they have, if you train, if you meet any people anywhere from any developed country or a country which is trying to do well, what they have told them is to believe in the country, to be proud of their country. And the moment they are proud of their country and they are ready to sacrifice for the progress of their country, they succeed. And so people if i want you to if you want your country to be perpetually poor what I, I only have to do is to make sure that you people don't believe in the country and its prospects and they don't believe in themselves and and, and and they don't have any value system for themselves so if i want to succeed in this country i have three things that you look for you believe in god you believe in yourself and you believe in your country sometimes it's not even so much the profession that you have these three will make you succeed in any profession. You believe in the supreme being. You believe in yourself, what you have, and the identity. You believe in the country that you are born in, the prospects. If you go to any great country, you see the top business people, they believe in their country. I'm not talking of those who are stealing. If you see any top business um, a politician who, are, who, who is able to change the prospects of his country, he believes in the country. He has three. He believes in some supreme being usually is god and he believes in himself and what he has to offer and then he believes in the country that he comes from he's so much passionate about the prospects of his country so he's ready to die for the country those who fought for independence for us today is uh, is uh, is adversary is the, is the first adversary as a country and you hear all the comparisons that people do and uh, malaysia and uh, korea and all that I think that we had different path. I think that our enemies were different. This is not an excuse. We could have done better, but I think we also underestimated the level, the depth that we were coming from. 
we underestimated that we we underestimated the consciousness of our people the skills that we needed to develop the the plan that we had to have the the, the orientation that we had to give to the people the amalgamation of cultures that we had to have you know the esteem there are a lot of things that uh, uh, we had to had we had to have in place for our country uh, to develop so me i don't really uh, compare ourselves to most of these countries what i see is i i passionate about our country it's a good country that we all can contribute to make it uh, better there's nowhere in the world that uh, they don't have trouble yes some of the troubles that we have are, are, are not things that we can excuse ourselves self. some of the things we should have been able to handle them uh, but you see when you're doing something without a plan without a deliberate structure without a system in place that is what happens and so over over the years i don't think there was a plan to develop the people to live in such civilization we just sent them to school we just sent them to anywhere they became lawyers doctors but there was not a plan to culture the people to live in a modern society and i think that is what beat us and so uh you should have taught them how to drive how to eat how to dress those things how to live as a Ghanaian, how to work how to be honest you know those things if they were constantly being 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 we were being told we were, you know the media houses were using those the schools were using them maybe i didn't come to meet them maybe there was a time that they were doing them and if those things had continued we would have had a better chance of us developing but i think we still have a, a you know a, a better chance because if you compare us to a lot of countries in in in, in africa uh, they look up to ghana and let's face it it's not like we have done badly we have done some bit of good you know and uh, we have very intelligent people we are we have we are very much thinking people proud people you know i um, mean if you see a president you can see that he's a confident man he has clarity of thought you know and I, I i like him you know he's a good man he wants to do something good for his country and we can all copy that because for us it's an unacceptable for for people to live over over a while and they still not develop and i think that um, is the, the responsibility is for all of us as africans uh you know to if you say that we still love our country and which we do we love it when black star is playing you can see that these people are very happy and they're proud of their country every i think every person loves his country or her country but now we can change we can we can move that love beyond the beyond the politics, beyond the football, beyond the entertainment, into us uh, developing and into us uh, 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 becoming a better people, giving dignity to most of our people. So I see the treasure that we have as, uh, for our people, uh, the treasure that we have as a people in the country that we love uh, is in the strength of our people, is in, the, is in the knowledge, the expertise of our people, the passion of our people. The people are the treasure, not the gold, not the diamond people are the treasure and so the, the our concern all of us our concern is to develop the country and the obligation the country's obligation actually and we all want to see the prosperity that our country must see and 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 you cannot take the prosperity of africa you cannot take ghana out of the prosperity of africa you cannot you cannot and i i, I am of a firm belief that there's something that we have that if you see it going, it means that the rest of Africa is going. If Ghana is unstable, the rest of Africa, you see, politically, they become unstable. If Ghana gets to be stable, you see the majority of the Africans start to wipe. There's some kind of something that uh, divinity has given to our country. And um, if you see any Ghanaian anywhere, they may be they may be low key, they be quiet. But if you ask them their opinion, they're able to tell you something. And it's all over the world. Wherever you go, you meet them can see that they are they are intelligent they are they are wise they are passionate yes they may talk a lot in their rooms but uh, this is the people that we have so it's a country you just have to resolve that this is the country that i was born in i love this country to death and um, I, we are ready to do everything that we have to do to make sure that our country develop and i think that is the mindset that the people who fought for independence the people who were doing all the things that they had to do for us to get to the point of independence heart. They had that kind of mind. That they, they, they love their people, they love their country, and they were ready to do something to change the course of destiny. And all of us can do that. If, if you want to succeed, you cannot take the belief 
that you have for your country for granted no you cannot if you if you if you overlook the confidence that you have to have in your country and its people you will not be somebody who will have any significant success you know you will not have that so and and i think that patriotism is is some way the way to deal with a lot of these things that they call uh, uh, corruption you meet any great leader anywhere they're patriotic they're so much passionate about the prospects of their country they represent their country well and you, you see any you cannot steal from something that you want to you want to help build you know so you see great leaders that we have had they were all patriotic and they were not the ones looking to steal from the country if you see anybody stealing and and the corruption is high under his regime is because he was not patriotic he came, just came there for himself he didn't have any love for his country because patriotism is built out of love and it's not just for the football but really for the dignity of the people for the growth of the of the country of uh, the development of the country so you see that the man has love for his country it means that if he gets the chance to lead the country he will, he will have something good to offer and so I, I whenever we are looking for a leader for a country i really don't uh i don't really think that it's only when the man has become a president that you are going to pray for him no 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 i am I'm, I'm going to look for what the man has been where he's coming from what I, what has cooked him what has prepared him then i will opt for that you know the rest i just have to go and sleep why because he comes there with that and i don't think that just politics prepares anybody to become a good leader a political leader especially so he for the assembly man he could be a, just a product of politics uh, for some kind of ministerial position it can be but for the president himself a lot of things should have cooked him a lot of things should, you should have you should, you should, you should be coming out or coming to that position with not just politics with not just professional with would have a lot of things because that is a heavy uh, load area he has to carry a lot and he should have been prepared for that position and so patriotism is all that you see the, the preparation that the president or the leader of a country has is what you all you know it, it affects it's infectious if you get a man who is who is happy who is who is on course to develop the country everybody looks up to that and the country uh, you can see vibrancy. Uh, you can see people who want to contribute to something. Why? Because somebody has shown the light. So the fight for development is our own responsibility for our country. We cannot say we love the country and then we hope that somebody else will come and develop it. And that's why the most richest in our country should not be foreigners. They should be the citizens of the country. No country in the world that you go that you are the richest. Are foreigners and the, and, the, and the citizens are servants no it means that the people don't love the country the, the, the leadership doesn't doesn't love or the leaders don't love the country if they so love the country they love the people it's not the gold in the soil it's not the oil it's not it's not the cocoa no it's the people and so you give priorities you do everything that you can to develop the people to develop the people to give uh, dignity to the people education prosperity you know you, you you help them to identify themselves and that identity we i don't think west africans have a lot of problem with that identity i think that we have the basis that's why when you meet any west african anywhere they move somewhere the people are used to maybe africans being timid and being inferior and not challenging them but you meet west africans especially Ghanaians. then once they get to understand the system they can ask you a question and say no what are you saying especially those that you have sent to college why because of the kind of background that we are coming from so there's something that they put in us the Ghanaian is like gold sometimes in a dead once you get to polish them you cannot take your your eyes off looking at them you know so there is there's a lot that we have to offer Africa there's a lot that we have to offer the world yeah, after all we got our politics the democracy critical moments they were able to switch power that's, that's so unusual so there's something that we have as a country and we love this country we sing our anthem we love our football we love our culture let's extend that to our people and let's make sure that our country develops because this is the only country that we have in spite of all the noise and everything when there's a threat you see that they all try to come together to fight it because <laughs> this is the country that we so love and it's 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 a good indication that you can be successful in that country 
in that country so you don't need to rush out of that country no you don't need to if you can see the positive in that country in this our country there's a lot that you can do you know and i i am of the belief that if you go away in the world the only place that you see a lot of successful africans are in africa people can debate that but it's true i see a lot of the africans who have built uh, successful companies successful organizations who have had successful uh, career you know and they are usually here purposeful ones you know so i think some of the threats maybe to our continuous development maybe the superstition we have to come down on it uh, and try to raise the people who can use their head more people who can think critically and ask uh, relevant questions and and believe in you know solving issues as they are than just putting issues in a realm where we cannot explain them you know so uh the more we get people who can think well and get good work ethics uh who work productively and if we can get a lot of our people to handle our time well and know the input of you know how, how we make choices in terms of what you use time for uh, you know every country has problems so it's not like we are the only ones with problems every one of them has problems so we don't exaggerate that we are not making excuses for our problems but we you know we just have to keep pushing and this is one of the best countries to live in I and mean, I mean, you, you can tell me you can ask me a thousand times i'll tell you that do we have problems yes which country doesn't do you have problems that we can not excuse ourselves of yes some of them they just not right but we have them and it's our responsibility but we can also overlook the complexities of our history and sometimes sometimes some things they have to take a little time to mature you know so we with the, the the identity that we give to our people the pride that we help our people to see the dignity the love the expression of unity that's how nations are built nations are built you know so uh my name is obinda talking about the country we so love every one of us that I see you can see the passion that we have for our country don't let the politics divide <laughs> they even love the country don't let anything divide you it's still the country the only country that we have and if you I remember somewhere a gentleman asked me so what is in Ghana I was in another country they said, what is in Ghana I said why I said, ah, everyone has a nice teeth <laughs> And they're very nice people. <laughs> I say, yeah, 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 yeah. And there's another person somewhere was asking, so why do you speak so good English? Wow, how did you learn it? We may take them for granted. Nice teeth, that's what they saw. And they said that ah, these are very nice people. They are not that abrasive. That's a good thing. They're not that abrasive. You, you, you are not the ones who want to just care right there. No, we are we are compassionate. We are you are kind in a way we may take them for granted and just sometimes you just get one or two people who abuse that you would think that everybody is like that no you even meet some other people from other african countries and they so talk well of us that we are honest you know we may not believe it because every every citizens in your own country hold themselves in the highest standard so you will not believe that we may trivialize that yes it's okay to trivialize that you may criticize ourselves that's okay but we cannot overlook that the little little things that we have is in you is in me just with right training we can use them for development and for multiplication for growth and so we have something that we have if you're born in this country there's something that you have you know people dress nicely <laughs> remember a cousin of mine came somewhere and said ah but what do you dress nice like that? Where are you going? So people take their time to dress. <laughs> people are very calm. Somebody was also asked, saying that, ah, so your people in the traffic, when you tell them that you won't buy, they don't see anything, they go to the next person. You say, yes. So wow. Some of them could have pulled out a knife and just kill you in another country. You know, so there are a lot of good things that we have, and that is good. And if you're born here, you have that. Every country and what they have. I'm just talking about the good things that we have. So sometimes they can push, push, push us to only dwell on the negative so much and which we all tend to do and overlook the good things that our country has. And we have a lot of good things. 
we have a lot of good things and one of the one of my key role or one of my key rules is that you cannot succeed in any country if it, even if it's your country if you don't believe in that country so if you're going to succeed here believe in this country that this country is a good place to live this country is a place that you can realize your vision this country is a place that you can be anything that you want to be this is a country that can give you a fair chance you know some people call their country all kind of things that they, they sometimes they don't even know true but they, the people believe it and it works for them it's the same if you believe that this is the best country that you can live in spite of all the problems which country does not have the problems that you talk about and when you start to say these things people will say that are you a pan-africanist are you um why are you delusional uh why do you live in a in a in a hard situation why do you talk like there is no problems anywhere there are problems everywhere if you meet the american he believes in this country so i believe in my country i believe in my people i believe in the prospects here i believe that i am endowed to be here it's a blessing to be in this country i believe that in spite of all the problems yes which country does not have the problem so if you're going to be here focus on that the country that we love you cannot love something and destroy it you cannot love something and talk about about it this is the hope that the young people need that you don't have to be desperate to go to another country because you have no belief you have no love for this country no you will get to that country and you regret that wow it means that we had something in Ghana and that's why you're calling your friends every day to check on them you are sending them whatsapp you are looking at facebook because there's something here that you overlooked so never trivialize the prospects that we have as a country the advantages that we have in this country there are a lot of them are there disadvantages thousands so far as we are on this earth, there are a lot of disadvantages but don't let the disadvantages clad the advantages the prospects here is a country that you can easily register a business, open a shop anywhere, and you didn't go through a lot of things anyway. <laughs> go try and do that in another country and see. Those who live in America, ask them how many businesses do they open. And it's so easy to open a business here. Yes, there are challenges, but it's so, it's so easy. We have our challenges, but not the opening not being able to do something not being not in almost every sector you can do something for yourself you only need that reorientation that is a good place to be it's a blessing to be here it's a country that you just have to love it's the love is there you know it and there are prospects everywhere if you try it you'll see that ah you can only succeed here and that i can guarantee you that it's so true fulfilling having fulfillment towards living a life of purpose a life of of mission life of goals just ask anywhere you see if you take 100 people maybe 80 90 the only people the, the others who are not seeing it is because they don't believe in it the moment you get to have that belief system the moment you get to have that confidence that purposefulness you see that is very true that if you're here you live beyond just working for money you live beyond just some people live in another country they work three jobs four jobs five jobs and the only reason they work there is what is for the money and they've been doing that for nine years ten years twenty years and the only reason they live there is because of the money here you can still do one two three jobs if you want but there's more purposefulness to it if you have the information if you have the clarity and you can go to anywhere and fight even if they insult you we have our challenges but we have a lot of our advantages so this is a country that we all have they told us how to sing our anthem those in chi those in english they told us the ghana flag they taught us about the regions they taught us about the the kingdoms that we have the tribes that we have they told us about the people who came before us the independence they told us about everything those things have conditioned us to be a different people don't trivialize that don't you realize that use them for your benefit use them and the country is not going to develop until we decide to develop it because this is the country that god gave us so most people love the country that they come from and and the country that they were born into and we so we love our country 
and I think that Ghanaians even take it to a higher level. That we are proud of our country. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are happy to come from here. You see us go go anywhere, we still want to come back. And some of those people may think that there's nothing here. It doesn't matter. We still want to come back to our country. You know, citizens of every country are hard on themselves when it comes to their mistakes. You know, so usually they they overlook their achievement, and it's okay. We can overlook our achievement and our good things. Continue to criticize yourself if you want to, but um, focus on the good things in this country. That's how you get to do something significant. If you are only focused on the negative and the wrong things, you will never do anything. Yes, you correct the wrong things. You work towards them. You want to improve them, but your attention should be on the prospects, on the good things that we have as a country. You know, so for us to succeed in our country, we have to believe that we have that. You have the prospects you have the blessings it's a blessing to be from here you may not believe it if you're a young man maybe you've been looking for work for 20 maybe for two years for three years and nobody is listening to you if you're you if you're a young woman you've been looking for work you, you think that ah let me go and get a visa and go let me go and get this and go you may go but never forget it's a blessing to be from this country that i know it is true it is true so our continent is our concern our country is our obligation and you all want our country to be prosperous there's nothing uh, like not wanting the country to be prosperous and develop there's nothing like that we all want that our strength is in is that the treasure as a country is in our people is in our expertise is in our identity is in our uniqueness is in is in is in our passion is the way we do things there are things that we have to correct yes the way we handle our time the way we work we have to work more we have to have a lot of people to be more honest and more patriotic towards the development of our country but it's still the country that we are ready you know the other time you heard the police they said that they are ready to die to protect their people that's a good thing they may have shortfalls they may have systemic failures but you can say that these are people who love their country and they want the best of their country the president was somewhere he stopped everything that he was doing he came back home to make sure that there's there's safety and there's security in our country when there's something that's happening ministers will come on air and explain to us it's a blessing to be from this country it's a conditioning of might if you believe it you will see the other prospects of it if you don't believe it you will always be the one focusing on all the bad things and if your mind is on the negative you will never get to do anything significant if your mind is on the negative you never take a risk if your mind is on the negative never trust you know, so if you're focusing on the good things and the prospects and the blessing and what you have, the advantages that you have, the leverage that you have, if you know them, you can do something. So let's all make a contribution towards the development of our country. It's dignity, our values for our human lives. We just have to improve on it, you know, the dignity that we have for people. And you just have to become more patriotic citizens, you know, passionate, work towards our development. You, if you want to fight corruption, just get more people who are patriotic for the development of the country. Because we, if you love your country, you become patriotic. That it is true. And the more patriotic citizens you have, the more people who will be committed to building the country. You will not be the one stealing the funds of the country to go and build your house. No. Your prestige is to put the country first, not yourself. You know, you talk of your country. You talk of the benefit of coming from this country. You talk of the prospects. That's how you talk. Those are the words that you use. This country is a great nation. I'm glad that I was born here. Those are the words that you use. We love this country. You know, so you fight for the development of our country. It's a thinking. It's a thinking. It's a thinking. And we give our people prospects and chance to succeed. We are not the ones trying to kill those who are trying to do genuine things. We fight those who are trying to take advantage of a weak system, but we give we give support to those who are doing good things. You know, we support people, we give people opportunities if they are from your country. We improve the education, we fight for the prosperity of our people, we help them to become expertise in what they do, they become proud in their identity as Africans, as Ghanaians. And you know, that's how you develop the strength of a group of people. So that when another person comes, they don't look like they are nothing to them. They are proud of their history. They are proud of their heritage. 
they, they are not the ones trying to copy everything. And the more you get people to be proud of their history, of their heritage, of their identity, that's why you get them to even use that to the, to channel the flow of cash. Because in that case, they try to they start to patronize the things that are produced in their country. They try to patronize the services from from the businesses that are created in the country. And that's why you even built strong economy. That's why you create jobs because the flow of money is following the passion of the people and the passion of the people is to buy that which their people uh, are producing they are quick to give their people opportunity you know and that comes from the fact that they have the heart of love for the for the country they're patriotic and so whatever that they, because if you have love actually how you use the money is the proof of the love that you have you know the time the resources the channel where they go is you, you, you don't just say it with your mouth where is the money going is a proof of our love for our country so if you buy the businesses we buy from the businesses that are that are trying to do well in our country we help them to grow we create more opportunities we create more jobs and that's how we develop our country you know so um thank you very much for watching this is a country we cannot develop until we cannot even prosper until we believe in the prospects of our country never so that's why we go anywhere, no matter how poor a country is, there's always somebody who's successful. And go and look for their secret. Their secret is that they believe in their country. They love their country. They are ready to die for the country. That's a, that's a thinking that you have. Don't be the one who is in haste looking for visa to travel and move and just close your mind here. No. No. No, that's not a good strategy. At all. There's a reason you were born here. You could have been born in another country. Why were you born here? There's a reason. It's not just for chance. It's not. It's not. A, it's never a chance, never, that you you could have been born in Papua New Guinea. You could have been born in Fiji. You could have been born in Ireland, but you were born here. Once you're born here, there's a reason. There's a reason. Don't just trivialize it. There's a reason. There's something that God put in you for this country to develop to grow, to give dignity to your people. <laughs> they overlook it. And that then can only be done out of your heart that you have for the country, the love, the passion that you have for the country. And that makes you work. That makes you go to work the way you go to work. You go to work because you love the country. You want the country to go forward. You go to work not because you want food to eat. That's part of it, but that's not the main agenda. You put your country forward ahead of you because people have put soldiers when they go to war. What do you think they go to war? They can be killed, but it's their love for the country. And a lot of them died for our country anyway, but for the heart of love for the country. And it's not just the country, the country is people. It's people. So if somebody could just put his life on the line in defense of our, of our country, what else can you do? In defending our country. In defending our country. What what else can you do? Who can you help? What opportunities can you give to another person? And the, the best of it is don't be an, a person who is negative about the prospects of our country. No. Be a person who is so much hopeful. Who so much believes in the in the prospect of our country? Who is who feels blessed to be from this country? It's a blessing. Who is so much um, passionate about the prospects of our country? There's nothing like that because it gives you stability. If you don't know, it gives you stability, it gives you identity, and that's why you fight the issues of life. That's why you become somebody with with clarity in thinking. If you see somebody who just look at where they come from and they trivialize it, that is a person who is not conscious, who is not centered. That's why whatever they do, you see, they vacillate. They vacillate because they are not stagnant. They are not centered. They are not, they are not stable. The love for your country gives you stability. And it's people. There's a sense of purpose. You get clear as, as to how you see life. So uh, they compare us with Singapore and those things. Don't do those nonsense. They're not important. The Singaporeans are not comparing themselves with us. Why should you? Let's work towards the one that we are doing and work work the best that we can give, the opportunities that we can give to our people. Let's continue to do that. Create 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 prospects, create create businesses, create create prosperity. Innovate on something.
do something and let people know where you come from. Say, I'm from Ghana, and you're proud of it. Proud of your heritage. Proud. proud. We are not going to keep the heritage as it is. We want to develop it and improve it, but we cannot throw it away. We, are, we love the country that we come from. So uh, it doesn't matter what they call poverty. We, we are the ones to solve that. We cannot run away from it. No. We play, I play my bit, you play your bit, that's why we develop. So sometimes people talk about they love Ghana, yes, but then they are not ready to sacrifice anything for it. You cannot love something without sacrifice. That's a lie. Love comes with sacrifice. It comes with responsibility. So if you love our country, we, 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 are, we, are, we, are, we, we, are, we make ourselves responsible for the things that we would have to do to make sure that our country develops. You know, and it's nobody's job, it's nobody's responsibility. It is our responsibility. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Good night.